Hello and welcome to this video on how to upgrade the firmware inside of Premiere Elite. For this you're going to need a flasher upgrader. Looks like this. The uh, USB to COM cable. Uh, the WinTech software. And you're going to need to have downloaded the uh, the Premier Elite Flashes software, which is available from the uh, Texcom website. First things first, then we need to find out what version of panel we're dealing with. Uh, just so you're aware, I uh, okay, I'll only have one panel to do this with, so there'll be no retakes of this. Apologies if anything goes wrong, but you just got to go with it. <laughs> Let's find out what it is then. Just press menu followed by four. You see this is an Elite 12 version two. That's your version right there, and I'll see you. Elite 12, which uh, will come to apparent later on. So the first thing we need to do then is connect this to the WinTech software by connecting the USB straight to the laptop into the COM port. Do that now. Open up your WinTech and just create a new account. I'm just going to call this test. Flick over to panel details. It was the Elite 12 version 2. If you can't remember, just press the menu before again. Let's bring it back up. And so use your password to 1234. Now we need to do the same with the panel to allow us in, we need to go and set the UDL password. Just type in the engineer's code. And we'll just turn this on, so... There we go. Yep, so engineer's password will bring you into the menu. Press 7 to take you to UDL options. Yep, and scroll down till you find UDL options. Press yes, scroll down again, TC password, press X, and type in one, two, three, four. So the two match each other up. Followed by the tick and tick again. Now you press menu twice, three times, and log off the engineer. Once you've got that, then you just need to press add. Go into setup. And you should see on PC Compot, it's using Compot 5. So that's all good. You might have to select one there if it's uh, not connecting properly. So what we do then is connect to the panel using the PC Compot. And it's connected up straight away. Sometimes you get a message saying, would you like to sync? Because like I said, I've only just turned this panel on, so there's not really any data there. This is just for the purpose of the demo so you can go into programming so communications even and receive panel programming data and the reason why you're doing this then is that if anything goes wrong throughout the steps you can just literally plug the WinTech software back in and reinstall it or in this event we're doing what's known as a major uh, update which is a where you change from version 2 to a version 3 which nine times out of ten will erase the entire panel in the process. So we can just reinstall it once we're done. So I'll hang up from the panel and safely disconnect the USB. Don't have that option on this laptop, so I'll just pull it out anyway. And there we go. That is the uh, software now in the laptop, back to ready to go. Important step then before we start this, you need to make sure that if this is a monitored system, you put the alarm in test with the monitoring station and turn off anything such as smoke cloaks, laser beams and master blasters. And just to start then, what we need to do is get our board and put the switch into the run position, which it already is in, which is good. Then we need to get the uh, connect to that and put, plug it, plug it, sorry, plug it into the programming port, which is here. You can see there's a little white arrow there. That just indicates which side the red 
marker goes on. So you can just plug that in there. Because you will get all turned pins in position. There we go, that is now in position. Now take the uh, the comp part and plug it in to let me just check how much skips a step here. Connect, so yeah, I am right. Connect onto the uh, into the com part here. So I am filming this on my phone, so I'm just gonna have to pull screen a minute. There we go, and that's still connected to our laptop. Now we need to disconnect any com parts you have plugged into the uh, panels, such as smart comms or dialers or anything like that. Yeah, it should now have been picked up, so it's going and open up the Premier Elite Flasher software. If it if it, if it doesn't pick up the USB part, there's a link which I'm going to put into comments at the end of the video, which uh, allows you to click on the link and download the driver for the uh, USB. Okay. So you can see here there is a big list of options. Basically the P followed by the number is the uh, Premier uh, whatever. So here Premier 12, Premier 168, Premier 25, etc. So we're gonna go with the uh, the P12, which is the top one. The uh, version is version five. And the, uh, the S1, uh, sorry, LS1, you can see here, or two, three, four, five, etc. That's the language. LS1 is uh, English, so we'll leave it at that and press OK. As you can see, it is part of our software. It is asking us to select which part we want. What we do is click Flash. You can never read that, it's tell, just telling you that if you uh, have any problems, you just need to put the default and, and send any and send the information back from WinText to the panel. So it's telling you, pretty much talking us through it here. What we need to do is switch the switch over to program and hit reset. Panel beeps to confirm. Second, panel will now start responding. Click OK on the message. Should see assessing clip. Let's select the compart. Select COM part 5. Flash. Okay. Press reset. Okay. Oh, there we go. So, no, what went wrong the first time, but it has. Uh, I just repeated the steps of, uh, I think it was because I didn't have a compart selected, so I've just selected compart 5 there uh, and repeated the steps by just switching the uh, switch over to program and then hitting the reset button and it seems to have uh, come to life. But like I said, this is, a uh, I only have one panel to practice this on, so it's just a case of uh, bearing with it. Unfortunately, we don't have the... Uh, the luxury of uh, Blue Peter here is one we did earlier. Just waiting on this then. So we've got three minutes. I should have put some music on really so you could uh, 
put you on hold while it was uh, installing the update. That third of the way there now, so not long. Seems to be going a bit quicker than I expected. So while it's doing this then I'll just uh, answer, why would you be really doing something like this? Well you might find that if you've got a version 3 or below, the, uh, the Texacom Smartcom can't be connected to it because it just doesn't give the option when you go into UDL options to uh, set up the uh, Smartcom. And uh, doing a software update should put the software on there now so that you can attach your Smartcom. It's Probably really the only time you'd ever need it, apart from any new features with the ARC or anything like that that weren't on the older versions. Nearly there now, one minute left. Just a point to note then, if you're doing an upgrade from uh, version 2 to 3, we're going to have to do after, I'm going to have to do it because with this one we've been a version 2, we're going to have to load the defaults. But you won't have to do that if you have a, if you do a three to four or a four to five, even a three to five. It's literally just from version two to three, which is classes of major upgrade. But I'll explain that in a minute. Come on, thirty seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh yeah, that's reminding, it's telling you what to do next, just to hit the run and press the reset button. So if we do that, run, reset. There we go, power's come back to life now, okay. We're doing it now so we can close this one. We open our WinTech software again. As you can see here, the uh, back to life now. We'll go for our programming option. Off engineer. Switch the uh, mini four. See now it's gone up to software version 5. It's been successful. As I said here, uh, because we've just done a 3 to... Is that a 2 to 3? 2 to 3? It's like yeah, 2 to 5, which means we've gone above 2 to 3. What we need to do is load the defaults on the panel. So we'll just unplug our flash drive now. Power down the system. Press and hold delete the uh, load button, which is located here on this one. Sometimes at the top around here somewhere. But make sure it says load defaults, not kickstart. That's a totally different thing altogether. I'll just turn the power back on. See the default in there, and it'll start its. Let's put the software back into this panel. We're gonna have to set a UDL password again. 
So just type in the engineer code again. It's just default, you're just gonna have to go through this, con confirm devices. If you're using wireless, set up wireless. Confirm devices, yep. Just again. And just go back at this point, and go to options, so back again. Come out of engineer utility, go to option seven. Yep. Down to UDL options. Yep. Down to password. X. One, two, three, four. Yep. Yep. Menu, menu, menu. Exit, log off. And now go to. Uh, so this time you need to go to edit account into panel details and change the software version to 5. Hit the OK button. Reconnect our COM port to COM port 1 or 2. And this time we're going to send the panel data, which is this one at the top. Oh, so it can these helps if you connect first. Connect. What's going on with this laptop? I'm using COM port. So it's online ready in the bottom corner. So now we just send our information. Send the panel programming data. You sure? Yep. Really important that you remember to back up the data because you've got a huge site, otherwise, you'll be here for hours doing it manually. Yeah, there we go. Hang up from the panel, disconnect, and that's us done. I uh, hope you found it useful. Sorry that the video was a bit, uh, well, not very professional, but as I said, I've got one panel, so I couldn't do any outtakes or anything like that or reruns. <laughs> it's not like you can just downgrade the panel and then put it back up again. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. Thank you. Please like and subscribe and all that jazz. Have a lovely weekend if it is the weekend or enjoy the rest of your day if it's during the week. Bye for now.